guys, it's Amber from Amber Eats Books, and I'm here today to bring you a haul video. Now this is gonna be a little different than my usual book haul videos because this is going to be my birthday haul video. So I have, I do have a few books, but I also have a few other little odds and ends that I found and a couple things I found at a local thrift store that I will just be showing you. Um, so let's not waste any more time, let's get into it. So I figured I would start with the books first because this is a booktube channel and that's probably what you guys are all here to see. The first book I found myself at the thrift store, and that was Sing You Home by Jodi Picoult. And I just really adore her books. Some I like more than others, obviously, but my friend and I, we read them together. And this was one I hadn't seen before, so I picked it up and I paid only a dollar. The next two books, I was with my husband a couple days before my birthday and we were at Barnes and Noble and I just decided I was going to buy them and he decided they were gonna count as birthday presents. So these are sort of from myself and sort of from my husband. The first one was 12 Years a Slave and Other Narratives. Um, I just thought this would be a very interesting read so I had to pick it up. The next one I got because it is October and I thought, what better way to spend it than reading The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, and it does include some other stories. So hopefully if I can get through all of my books on my TBR for this week, I can put this on for next week's TBR and try and fit it in before the end of the month. Then my daughter, my lovely little six-year-old, made sure that when they went out birthday shopping for me that she picked me out this present because I had been asking for it excessively and that was A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. I loved An Ember in the Ashes. Like I said in my wrap up video from this week that it was probably one of my favorite um, YA books of this year. So I was really excited to get this. I'm 137 pages in. I will say the story isn't grabbing me quite as much as the first, but again, I'm not, I'm not that far into it. So I will let you guys know how I feel when I finish it. And then, my children also picked out for me a Harry Potter coloring book. I was so excited. I've, I've been telling them I wanna get into adult coloring and to do more coloring things, but I tried an adult coloring book that was just like designs and it just didn't do it for me. I said I needed something that was based on a theme, something that I actually cared about and actually liked and Harry Potter was a perfect pick for me because I have been obsessed since we rewatched all the movies this summer with the kids. We all have been, you know, saying quotes from the movies and anytime I can find a Harry Potter, Harry Potter reference that I can use in real life, I've been sticking it in. So this was just an absolute perfect find for me. The next two things, I actually found myself at a local, one was at my local Goodwill and one was at a local antique store. Um, I will just, I'll just show them to you. The first one was at my Goodwill, and that was a Hagrid. I had to have him. I just saw him sitting on the shelf, and I was like, well, we've been loving Harry Potter. I can't just leave him here. No one's loving him. No one's, no one's displaying him. So now he resides proudly on my shelf. Um, my kids absolutely adored that I got him, so I thought that was really good. And then the second thing I got was this antique teapot. I don't know how old it is or anything about it. It cost me 20 bucks, but it is so pretty to display on top of my stove. I love the bright orangey color um, and the shape, the shape of the spout. I just absolutely love it. So I bought this for myself and I can't tell you how many times I come down my stairs in the morning. I'm like, oh, look at that teapot. It's so cute. Um, so I was so excited to get those things for myself. If anyone knows me, they know I absolutely love Disney. I collect Disney figurines, stuffed animals, what have you. So uh, everyone in my family decided to get me something Disney. Um, let's start maybe with my itty bitty collection. So I have a bunch of itty bitties already. I've probably shown them to you on my bookshelf tour that I did. So the first itty bitty that, let's see, I think my son gave me this one and that is Ray from Star Wars. I already have C-3PO, um, R2-D2, and Yoda, so she will just be another itty bitty for my collection. Then my daughter got me Twink from Rainbow Bright. I already have Rainbow Bright. You can kind of see her. She's 
slouched over to the side because I took Tink away from her. They were like besties in the show. It was my favorite cartoon growing up. So I just had to have Twink to go with my Rainbow Bright. So she got her for me, got him. Twink was a him, got him for me. And then <laughs> all the kids decided to get me Hank from Finding Dory. He was my favorite character from Finding Dory. Absolutely adore him. I always love the sarcastic characters in the movies and he was my favorite. So he now sits with my Nemo that I have up on my shelf. I will have to get Dory soon. So they will at least be a trio, but got him. Then my best friend got me. Hey Tinkerbell. Hey, Pop Funko Tinkerbell, she's so cute. She's got a little tiny, tiny wand. You can see it, she's just adorable. And now this Pop Funko, it's a little smaller than the other ones that I have seen. I've bought a couple for my kids and these are just a little tinier because I. she also got me a pair of Minnie and Mickey Pop Funkos. And again, these ones are just a little smaller than other ones. Like my son has, I think I got him an Arrow one and he put his arrow one next to these and arrow was definitely bigger but i still absolutely adore them i think they are just so cute so those are now on my bookshelves I my mean, bookshelves are getting kind of crowded i told my husband i need another another set of bookshelves because they're just getting crowded then my mother and father-in-law bought me mother in law and father-in-law bought me this little mickey sign which was on my amazon wish list it says love. It's a gym uh, from the Jim Shore collection. Absolutely love it. I love old time Minnie and Mickey sitting at the top. So cute. And they also got me, which I was so excited for. I love salt and pepper shakers. If anyone comes to my house at like December, you will see snowmen salt and pepper shakers like lining my kitchen windows on the counters. I just absolutely love them. I was trying to find salt and pepper shakers just to collect for all year round display. And I didn't know, I was kind of hemming and hawing, going back and forth between all these things. But I, then I decided, hmm, maybe I should collect Disney salt and pepper shakers. So she got me a Minnie and Mickey set that are actually magnetic and they're kissing. They're so cute. I love them. They're just adorable. So I was so excited to open those. But that is not all. They also got me, and I'm probably even more excited, they got me another magnetic set of Mrs. Potts and Chip. They go together like that. He hooks on right there and they sit on the shelf together. It is so adorable because I really identify with Beauty and the Beast, obviously because Belle loves books and it was not my favorite movie growing up. Probably my favorite Disney movie growing up was The Little Mermaid. I was obsessed with that movie. But now as an adult, I think Beauty and the Beast is really right up there at the top because I am now like getting obsessed with Belle. Um, but yeah, so that was my Disney birthday haul. And then my, just to throw it in at the end, my best friend also got me a little snowman because I have a gigantic snowman collection that I put up in December and it says love never melts. So I just thought that was really adorable. One last thing that I did get, I also got a homemade pillow for my daughter. That's up in my room. My husband's taking a nap because he actually works nights and don't want to disturb him to get it out. But she made me that and then they also bought me this wonderfully soft, comfy, just want to snuggle up in it, a throw blanket for the couch in the living room. This is mine. The kids are not allowed to touch it. They are not allowed to even put a finger on it because every other throw blanket that I ever buy always seems to get ruined or destroyed or stuff spilt on it or ripped or whatever. So this blanket, if I could, I would put it in like a safe while I was away at work or in another room so the kids could not destroy it. But this, this is my blanket and I couldn't be more thrilled with it. So that was my birthday haul. I know it's a little bit show offy and a little braggy, but I couldn't help but show you guys everything I got because it was just really, really adorable, thoughtful gifts that they picked out for me. So I had to let you guys see. 
Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and happy reading.